You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 165, posted December 2018. Don't eat strange bees! All right, so we left off with the secret door opening and you being confronted. The secret door pivots open to reveal a chamber of finished stonework. The room is cluttered with crude furnishings and the air is hazy with the smoke of a small cooking fire. Dozens of yellowed skulls are suspended from the ceiling by fraying ropes, strung through holes punched in the bone. An orc in a ragged black robe looks up from her work, her face twisted in an expression of rage. (gasps) Sorry, to be clear, did you say Finnish stonework, like from Finland? Yes. That's, uh, that's very it, important. Yeah. Uh, roll history. It might be Norwegian. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see. Uh, definitely didn't come from Ikea, but here we go. History. The, the orc attacks. I got a nine. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, uh. All right. So uh, I would like you guys to roll some initiative because that's how we're going to do this. Well, I still don't know about The this. traditional way. Uh, that's how we're doing it. Yep. Tradition. I haven't bought any Tradition. special dice for Bulldish, so I'm just using this character sheet thing. Oh, here. fooey. I did that wrong. Uh, I won't re-roll. I got a five. I forgot to click on my token first. Sorry. Totally fine. Oh, you're me dead too. To me. It's cool. I forgot that was a <laughs> oh, great. If you're dead to the you're dungeon to master, you're and dead everyone in else. Life. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I cannot right. tell if this is doing anything. I cannot tell a lie. Does any is anyone surprised, or is this just we're both all sides? I think every surprised. everyone is equal. Yeah, nobody is taken That's, more unaware yeah. than anybody else at this point. Um, all right, so with that out of the way, we're on round one, and the orcs are going to go first. Apparently, just because they rolled better than you. Ugh. Um, well, Rude. the the sh- orc shaman. Uh, being confronted with Bruldish, who is apparently in the lead, is going mm-hmm. to... I open the door. Uh, is going to mutter uh, some words of a spell and direct it at you. So you're, Bruldish, going to need to give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Nope, that's fat fingers. Let's try this again tiny character sheet wisdom saving throw 10 Ooh. <laughs> so uh the uh the the orc shaman yells in a word halt and that is the command spell oh okay <laughs> well i halt so um, and i speak orcish so i understand as ah, well, well as she was going for common because she, she didn't know oh. right like she wouldn't know you wouldn't speak orcish right <laughs> so she's going prepared gotcha uh so you are told to halt. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is her move, essentially, uh, because that is. I think it's also my move. Spell slot. <laughs> um, and let me check if there's anything else that's happening here. Sorry, I got my many tabs open here. Uh, so the other two orcs, who just look like, um, you know, more, more, more like the orcs you have faced so far. They're they're wearing the same sort of armor. They've got the same morks. sort of weapons. They're morks. They're morks. orcs. <laughs> that we Mark. cannot that's a trademark violation <laughs> one is one is Mork one is Mindy it's fine um, legally distinct <laughs> it's spelled M-O-R-C we're fine oh uh, yes ship yeah. it Mork now that was too hard uh, on, this, on the be letter sure you pronounce that C yeah it's, be, <laughs> it's like so they're both gonna run up to the entrance uh, and Bruldish I think you were close enough to open the door therefore you should probably be one square forward from where you actually are. Because I think you were at the doorway. Um, so they're going to each uh, basically run up and make mm-hmm. a weapon attack on you. Uh, so here comes a great axe. Uh, seven. That, that misses. And the second one will do a great axe. Fourteen. That misses. Oh, Okay. All right, so they both run up and swing at you, and even though you're not moving... <laughs> I stare at them. You stare them down, and they're like, oh, maybe we shouldn't hit, and then they like axes go right into the wall next to you. Foolish orcs. Um, all right, Bruldish, it is your turn. Now, you are a subject to a command spell 
currently. Uh, I believe. Let's I, see. I did halt. Yep. Does so that you mean have I to follow the target. Or? Yeah. Once you fail, you are must follow the command on your next turn. Okay. Uh, but I believe that it immediately. Um, it only lasts for a round. So basically, this round okay. you cannot move. Uh, or basically do and take any actions either. Hold on, what are so. some potential definitions for halt? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, mm. she didn't say this freeze. Is, how she can you interpret halt. that? Yeah, <laughs> you're also not a like, rules lawyer while you're yeah, halted. I will just point out. I will just point out that the text of the spell says if you say halt, so the target doesn't move and takes no actions. Oh, okay. So, okay. So in that and I, sense, I stand here as a uh, hu uh, dwarven shield, like for my companions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done, Spurious. You're all the way in the back there. All right. Uh, how far will my movement speed of 25 get me toward the front of this uh, tobacco? Uh, if you take one move, so just go mm -hmm. 25 feet, unfortunately, that would land you exactly where Bellamin is. Um, I count yeah. differently, actually. Oh, okay. Sorry, um, I can't. If you go diagonal up there. one over to diagonal down one, you can move. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Spurious, no, after you, Spurious. Spurious scampers through the uh, the crowded little narrow hallway, and he sees what's going on in the uh, the the orcs in the distance. And Spurious, now, how close are the uh, front orcs there to the uh, to the shaman? They look like they're probably more than ten feet. Um, uh, five. They're about fifteen. It looks like. So I don't think I can contain them in a ten foot sphere. Um, uh. Uh, so, actually, you a ten foot sphere. I mean, do you have to target a person, or can you target a square? Uh, I can target a square. It's a sphere. It's a spell. Right, attack. right. So, if it's a sphere, is it a ten foot diameter or ten foot radius? I I don't know, Dan. Um, <laughs> well, I'm just pointing out. It's so like if you. Put I was it told right, there'd be slightly less math than this. Um, <laughs> if you put it, if you put it here, mm -hmm. like ten feet would only. I mean, it's two squares to the right. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a shatter uh, behind those orcs. And let me type, click the button, and you tell me if it also happens to encompass the shaman. I'm guessing it won't. Okay. So I'm casting it at level two, I guess. Sure. All right. Uh, oh, that didn't put the text of it in. I thought it That's was right. going to do that. That's right. I got. I got okay. it right here. It's totally all right. cool. Uh, all right. So. Shatter. So this is this is uh this is my little opening number here. <laughs> Maybe I need to tune up first. <laughs> uh, as I believe there's like a, a deafening squeal, uh, but it's in the distance, <laughs> you know. So yeah, the deafening squeal lands by them. I will say the spell text says ten foot radius, so it should hit all three of them at that point. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and they'll each need to make a Constitution save. Is that right? Yeah. Uh okay. Let's see how they do that. So first orc, uh, is that a Constitution save twenty one. Wow. Yeah, that guy rolled really well. Guy rolled an 18. That's why. Right. Uh, next guy, 10. Not so great. Mm -hmm. And then the shaman rolls an 11. All right. Well, uh, the so, shaman and yeah, the Yeah, one of them orc. saves, but the other so, two do not. So the save one still takes half damage. Okay. So half damage it was 13 damage. Yep. Uh, so it's half damage rounded. Also, uh, I believe, like, Lots of things in that area take uh, 3d8 thunder damage, too. So I bet uh -huh. some of those hanging skulls are all <laughs> swinging and or exploded. Um, and yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. So basically a ripple of shatter goes through the room. You see the skulls sway, the campfire gutters, uh, a bunch of items on this sort of desk in front of the shaman start like cracking and a little you yep. know shattering i uh, swear uh, to the light good. of the moon spurious if you hurt that bedroll in there <laughs> <laughs> he's just stopping you... it up for you uh, i'm just the opening number you can save your applause for the main act as is traditional it's also me <laughs> did <laughs> you I'm also done. dan did you also say i should be one uh square closer yeah to technically okay. i think because you opened there. the door you should be up there oh, so no, there is a little fine. a little maneuvering room there okay. um all right anything else from you spurious you said i don't think so all right, Imra. All righty. Well, I'm out of line of sight, so I've got to move. So I'm going to come up here behind Bruldish, and I'm going to, I guess, just use my longbow and aim for the, the one right in front of me. 
Okay, there will be uh, a little bit. Well, you're, you've got Bruldish in the way there, so I think there there might be a slight penalty on that, but okay. it should not be a huge penalty. So I'm gonna say it's a. They have a little bit of cover. Okay. All right, so that's a 14, uh, and this guy. Do 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 do. Hey, give me a thing. Uh, I'm gonna say that hits. How much damage? Seven. Okay. So that guy, he takes an arrow, thwacks right into his shoulder. He does not look pleased, and he doesn't look entirely well either. Good. Uh, anything else, Imran? Are you good? Uh, no, I think I'm good. I, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 I was thinking maybe I should move out of the way, but do you have so I don't think I have enough. Left. I don't think I have enough to get back around the corner. So don't yeah, worry, I'll actually I was gonna say don't worry, I'll stay here, but actually I don't have any intention of staying here if I can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Uh all right, uh Bellman. Because I'm so far back and I don't want to like shove through everyone and be right in the middle of the fray just yet, uh I'm going to uh, hey Spurious, uh, how would you feel about right. having an ability enhanced? Uh Ooh. sure. Oh, that's usually a thing I do to other people. Well, you, you get so it for yourself today. I know you usually right. get it's lots. A little, it's a little mutual yourself. admiration society back here. <laughs> you, mm -hmm. I know yeah, you get lots of emails about ability enhancers, but uh, I want to actually do one uh, for real. Um, <laughs> lots, lots of ravens. Whoa. <laughs> misspelled, misspelled raven scrolls all the time. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you're good on charisma. You're good on constitution. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to give you the bull's strength. The target has advantage on strength checks. Check, strength checks because I want okay. you to uh I want you to be strong like bull. Cool. Now I can be my own roadie. Okay. I uh <laughs> I just tap your shoulder a little bit and you have advantage on uh strength tech uh strength checks. Wow, it's early. Uh <laughs> for up to 1 hour. It's not that early in your time zone. I was going to say. Goddamn, yeah, goddamn right? millennials. Hello. I just yeah. rolled out of bed. Yeah. Hello, yeah. nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm not going to tell you what time it is on the East Coast, but it's not nine o'clock. <laughs> you can do uh, Bellman, are you all set? Yeah, I'm all set. I, I don't want right. to do anything else. Yeah. Out of all. Hum, drum, bum, dum. Let's see. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sounds like an incantation. What's old Ellie going to do from all the way back here? That was not an incantation because it didn't include any Tex-Mex food. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so many questions. Uh, okay, I think... Oh, no, I don't have that right now. Oh, I have one more. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um... <laughs> Elevor is dithering as, yeah. as his Believe in friends. Yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll toss a dagger. So everybody duck. Um, oh God. That's not a duck. That's I'm a, a swan. I'm a dwarf. I don't have to duck much. 14. 14. Is, is that against the guy in the front there? Yeah, the one right ahead. Yeah. Uh, all right. And that's going to hit for Yay. six damage. So you... Uh, it says though Imra and Bruldish just slide aside and like Elevor is lined up right down the middle throws a dagger it takes that orc directly in the face in the face oh, no. and that orc the is, face. is dead yes yeah! well done well done Elevor just nods slightly unlike Micah who just shouted in excitement <laughs> uh, anything else Um, no that'll do it alright uh, round two we're back around to the shaman the shaman uh, mutters a, another spell under her breath, and she has cast uh, something on herself. You see, like a, a a little aura appear around herself and the other orc. What's it smell like? Uh, it smells like light. Teen spirit. <laughs> Whoa, no. teen spirit. Uh, and then the other orc uh, shoves aside his uh, his dead no, compatriot. Get away. Wow, and, brutes! Uh, runs up to attack uh, Bruldish, mm. uh, and he will launch into a great axe attack. Now, something interesting happens when he does this great axe attack. I'm hoping it's not that great. <laughs> yeah, it's a poor axe attack. Uh, we. Uh, 
Now that looks like a f 10, but he gets a 12 on his attack roll. Still not enough. Okay. So he, uh, once again, hews at you with his axe, but now you are uh, basically, you're loosening out of that spell and you, you manage to mm -hmm. dodge aside uh, and it is your turn. All right. I am really upset. So it was the orc that's over by the table that that caused me to halt correct correct yes i have had some experience with things messing with my mind and making me act in ways that i don't <clears throat> don't choose so this really ticks me off now is there the guy is like right in my way and i kind of just want to ignore him and can i bowl him over and rush toward the uh toward you can her? push him but that's an action i, I will try okay so uh, make a strength check okay and I have inspiration, so I think I would like to use All right. my inspiration for that. And strength. So mm. a 16. 16. All right, yep. that is against their strength check. Oh, the uh. orc rolls a 19. Ugh. Oh, wait, that's the, Oops, other, that's that's the, the wrong one. Sorry, it's, you know what? It's the same exact, same oh, exact okay. stats. So that's, that's still going to stand there. Uh, so the orc, you try to push the orc, but the orc holds its ground. All right, well, I just... Um, then as a bonus action, mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Wrathful Smite. So I'm just really ticked off. And oh. I didn't manage to get that on my character sheet, but I have the spell here. So next time you hit with a melee weapon attack during this spell's duration, your attack deals an extra 1d6 psychic damage. Ooh. Additionally, if the target is a creature, it must make a wisdom, wisdom saving throw or be frightened of me until the spell ends. Ooh, scared. Are you scared? So I'm not, I'm, I'm not actually <clears throat> attacking yet, but when I do, it's going to be badass. All right. Uh, Spurious. All right. Um, well, I think first off, I'd like to give uh, Broldish some bardic inspiration. Uh, let's see if this works. Broldish, hear my words and be inspired. <laughs> I'm, I'm also that's a lot of words. recites a very yeah. long. Please oh, accept okay. these terms and conditions. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I put a bloody thumbprint at the bottom. Um, yeah, so you now have a bardic inspiration die. That you can use, I believe, just for an attack roll or a skill check. Uh, I think at my current level, it's a d6. So, or saving okay. throw. Saving throw. Or well. saving throw, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, having done that, I will now uh, viciously mock the... Uh, whoops, I clicked it again. <laughs> so it's even better. Everybody We're gets all inspiration. You get inspiration. You get inspiration. You get inspiration. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that the orc next to Broldish will be viciously mocked. Um, Ooh, all right. He must make a dc12 wisdom saving throw or take three damage. <laughs> He does succeed on that what? saving throw. This is like the wisest orc we've ever met. Mm -hmm. um, so, Wiser yeah. than Broldish. How rude of you to say that about me and my mother. <laughs> yeah. They said you were a wise orc. Come on, that's nice. <laughs> uh, anything else you all said? I think I'm done. Imra. Okay. Um, well, I don't have a whole lot here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to aim at the orc in front of me and uh, hit it with my longbow or shoot it with an arrow from my longbow. Woo! Holy moly. Nice. Whoa! Oh my God. Yeah, so, all right. Natural so, roll 20. So you line up your shot and you shoot and it takes the orc in the head and it takes the orc's head off and it just the, wow. the whole head goes to that skull those like those like dangling skull things and just like sticks to the bottom of like one of the skulls and just like swings you know i've it. always said about orcs they're poorly constructed <laughs> <laughs> so that orc is dead uh very nice. nicely done uh anything Thank else you. you can you've still nope. got some movement if you want but you can also stay put yeah i think i want to stay put i'm not super squishy but I'm just right. hang squishy, enough. squishy enough. Squishy enough. So in this epic fight scene with like a super epic score that's playing right now, the score cuts out as you hear, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, uh, right back here, sorry, <laughs> excuse me, and Bellman just scoots up to the front, and as soon as he's in position, he goes, ah, and um, rays of frost 
our good friend Shaman. Okay. Rays of Fro- Ray of Frosts. Ray- rays of Frost. Right. I don't know. Which my name's Ray. My name's Ray. Ray. Frost. <laughs> uh, that Ray is a nine frost. Um, versus Against my guess is AC. AC. Yeah, that is not going to miss. So she nimbly steps aside, and your Ray of Frost puts out the campfire behind her. <laughs> well, at least you're a little bit more cold, Shaman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fire safety first, says Bellman. Yeah. Undercooked meat is a real serious problem. <laughs> Orcs don't take food safety seriously. Bellman, are you all set? They I am all set, well. yes. And now I am prime. Su- oh, God. I, yeah, I'm prime suspect number one for. Uh, Elevor. Well, uh, I'm going to become prime uh, sus- or prime uh, target number one by moving here. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? We're friends now. Hello. Uh, that's not how Elevor sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. And I need to check some little measurements here. That's what I thought. <laughs> Elevor comes up with his tape measure. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure my IKEA furniture fits in here from Norway. I, th- I thought he was uh, a druid without a protractor is th- like a fish without a bicycle. So. I thought he was measuring the uh, the shaman for a made to measure suit. <laughs> Checker. A coffin. After, yes, coffin. exactly. Mm-hmm. And I puff out a blast of noxious gas. Oh, Elevor. Oh, dear. Oh. Now's, now's the text next time, right? <laughs> DC 13 Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she saves with oh, flying colors. Dang it. Oh. Um, you were and... merely born in the text mex I was molded <laughs> by it. <laughs> <laughs> She like inhales it and goes yes, and then just like oh, spews it back out. Oh, in your oh. Oh. You nasty, nasty, oh. nasty. <laughs> Anything else you all said? Um, I don't have enough move left, enough speed left to move anywhere. So I guess I'll just be here looking at this creepy orc. <laughs> all right, uh, the orc eye of Groomsh looks around and realizes all of her allies are dead. And so she uh, takes a flask out of her pouch and she hurls it. Uh, and she's going to hurl it at Elevor because he's the closest guy here. Um, and I catch so it. <laughs> this is just a uh, ranged attack, which I think is just a dex. Let's just say dex. Uh, 18. Oof. Hmm. That hits. Yeah, so the flask, uh, you, you have just enough time to see as the flask comes at you that it's a sort of like a glass flask full of some sort of fluid. Uh, it shatters when it hits you, and basically you catch on fire. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Um, so you're going to take some fire damage at the beginning of each of your turn, but you'll have a chance to save at the end of each turn to like sort of pat out the flames. Uh, but basically, yeah, it's an alchemist fire, so you've been, you've been mm-hmm. napalmed. Uh, having done that, she is going to dart towards this door in the north wall here and unlock it. Oh, God. Um, but we'll say she Let's basically see. gets as far as opening it uh, before we move on to Brildish's turn. Brildish, who runs in screaming in Ayla's name <clears throat> and wrathfully smites at her head. Remember that you're inspired. <gasps> yes. Okay, so so don't tell me if I miss. I have a okay. chance to... Uh... Uh, let's see. So I'm going to use my battle axe, and we'll see how that goes. The old battle axe. 16. That is a 16. I don't yet know how tough she is, because I don't think anybody's hit her yet. So Do I yeah, am she, only, she took yeah. damage from the spell, but that did not okay. de- let you determine her AC. Right. Yeah. I, you yeah. know what? I can't take the bardic inspiration with me, so I'm just I'm going to use yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. So that 16 you, you, becomes a 19. All right. So you run up and you battle axe right into the back of the shaman as she tries to open the door. That will hit. She will take five damage. She will Spell, also Spellcasters take... don't like being, you know, hit with a battle axe. <laughs> Ow! Usually. Hey! She's also going to take uh, three psychic damage. <gasps> oh, and she needs to make are... a wisdom saving throw. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw coming up. 17. Well, that These makes rolls. that. So she's not frightened of me, but she still might be kind of scared. She's running anyway, so <laughs> it wasn't going to change her behavior that much. Yeah. 
Uh, yep. right. um, also, oh, as yep. an action, the creature can make a wisdom check against my spell save DC to steal its resolve and end this spell. So, Got it. Oh, as an action. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, I will continue to get that extra 1d6 against her until she spends an action trying to get rid of that. Got it. All right. Spurious. Uh, I, I think I'm going to move in a little bit. and I'll, I'll step in front of Imra here. Uh, I don't know if I can do much about this orc, uh, but maybe can I use a, a mage hand to help put out Elevore? <laughs> sure. Pat, 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 yeah, pat, I will say, um, there, let there. me put it this way. I will say he'll get advantage on his Grab turn. the blanket the, from the bedroll and put it over yeah, the top I, of me. That's what I do. So, uh, all right. So, um, actually, you know what? Instead of giving him advantage his check, I'll tell you what. I'll give him... No, we'll give him advantage on his check. So he's gonna, still going to take okay. a little damage at the beginning of the turn because he's been on fire for a little while. Fire. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he'll have a better chance of putting it out with your mage hand's help. Mm, got a okay. nice crispy, nice. crispy outer else? layer going. That's a helping uh, hand, all right. I think I'm good. Imra. All right. Well, first thing I'm going to do now that the hallway is cleared a bit is I'm going to call Androdite and get her closer to me. Um, and then I'm actually also going to move forward a little. Um, I'm going to do, I, I'm going to longbow again. Okay. Oh. 12. All right. So you shoot your longbow. It plunks into the stone next to the door. And she kind of like looks up startled, but she's still like pushing her way through the door. All right. I think that's it. Bellman. I. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? You know what time it is? I don't. I, I No. Magic missile time! <laughs> there we go. That's an 11. Okay. So some magical bolts plunk into her back. <laughs> and she's like, uh, you know, she, she like arches her back and it seems a pain, but she is determined to get through that door. Uh, Elevore? Well, I suppose it's time for me to take some damage from that fire. Right? Uh, yeah. Damage <laughs> from the fire. Sorry, I was thinking, thinking. About what a good accent that was. Maybe my voice mm -hmm. done got you all slipped up there. Welcome to <laughs> Juicy Guys. <laughs> all right, so three Ooh. damage from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is Elevore's other. Uh, <laughs> His cousin. Know. There we go. <laughs> Elevore's cousin, Delavore. Southern Bellivore. <laughs> Southern Bellivore. Yeah. Oh my uh, God. It's oh, so good. Gotten, the head cannon is rich. Uh, all right. Three damage <laughs> from your fire, and you, are, you may take your turn and then save at the end. Three damage from the fire, so I'm down to that. Uh, oh, wait. What did you say? Oh, I can do my turn and then I can. Yep. Save okay. at the end, and you'll have advantage on that save thanks to, to Spurious's mage hand. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. Oh, look, there's another accent. Where'd that one come from? Hmm. Um, Bloody hell. I think I can. I think I can. I'll use one of my daggers again. Hurling it at uh, all. Is oh, that a dagger I, I see before me? <laughs> Is that a dagger that's coming can a lot closer here? to me? Is that a dagger in my face? <laughs> Is that an open space? Yeah. Okay. And now we dag, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> you 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 are emboldened by your previous success killing that orc. You uh you don't take quite as much time to line up this shot as you did the last one and the dagger just clangs off of the stone wall and the orc does not look phased at all. Oh dear, I am unhappy. <laughs> But I do get an advantage. What is the roll that I need to do? Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, very dexterous. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and have a 19 on that roll. That is all fun. So you manage between you and the mage hand, you manage to put yourself out. Uh, it is the orc's turn. I growl she at her. Is, uh going to stab behind her with a spear at Broldish. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Um, things that make you go. Hmm. Things hmm. make you go. Hmm. Twenty. Well, that hits. 
12 piercing damage. Okay. Ooh. She is going to try and hope that that distracts you enough that she can bolt off into this darkness, but you're going to get an attempt at an opportunity attack, presumably. Yes. Yes, I am. So I swing at her with my battle axe to the tune of 23. <gasps> nice. For 10 points That's of slashing damage. Plus. One of Spurious's favorite tunes. Plus five, <laughs> five points of uh, psychic damage. So it's, you know. The 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 battle axe really like hurts her. She's clearly in pain, and then just as the like mental anguish descends on her uh, and the fear, she goes into shock and she collapses. Yeah, in the, door, in the open doorway. Woo! But the last thing you hear her oh, like no. sort of cry oh, no. uh, as she's doing uh, that sounds to you like little stingies, and then she falls down dead. Well, well, I, I, I brandish my spell or my axe in the air and yell, "Hey, I'll be praised." Constance, she might be like full of bees or something now. <laughs> bees? <laughs> Hello, bees. I, probably, probably just one bee. Just uh, <laughs> very big Re- reference acknowledged. No, not even, uh, not even in that campaign, but it's fine. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so the door is open, but you guys are currently out of combat. Yeah, can we see what's in the room she was running to? Sure. So you can kind of look beyond. It appears to be, uh, it's a very large room. So you can like your, it fades off as it goes. I'll show you this much. Okay. Um, I so do you have can dark see vision. that there's a, yeah. So you can see, well, you have dark vision. So you can see about 60 feet, I think, with mm-hmm. dark vision. Let's see how far that gets you. Okay. Well, there's a, up there. Well, let's reveal a little more. Yes, let's. <laughs> let's, shall we? Let's. All right. So um, you can tell when you look out into this hallway uh, or into this large room, uh, it's got a very high ceiling, at least 30 feet high. It's a large, impressive chamber. And you can see kind of dimly because it's, you, even though you have dark vision, like your clarity of view is not great. But it looks like there are some carvings on some of the walls. Hark, um, it's a fossil. You can't see too much beyond. It does still sort of fade into death. But at the very top, you just catch a little bit of what looks like a uh, like like a skeleton or a slumped figure. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And in the center of the floor, there's a natural looking rift that descends pretty sharply. Uh, and you can just see sort of at the far end here that this is like... Um, oh, I'm on the wrong thing. You can see at the far end up here just the top of like what looks like stairs sort of going okay. down, but towards you. Um, so we'd have to go sort of around the rift to go down. Yeah. It, right. Right in exactly. front of us is a drop off. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Um, you can hear uh, very distantly as you listen in the sort of the brief moment of quiet after the orc has expired and you're all like coming down off combat, you can hear what sounds like water running someplace mm-hmm. distantly. Um, and you also can hear, what sounds like a weird sort of buzzing, but you don't really know what that's about. I'm going to Pro- close the probably door. Probably just one B, a single B. I close right. the door. And Roll the is that water running? We should go catch it. <laughs> I love that you... <laughs> All right, door Stop is closed, covering. and you are alone in the not delightfully smelling room. Can Sorry. We, uh, All right. You Can guys we maybe just... toss the room. I need to, like, wipe off some of the blood, because that hurt. That spear... Like, Can I still have... Like a giant mm. spear wound in the middle uh, of my gut. Just a spear. So, like Broldis, you are in a bad place. Well, um, um, I'm at uh, less than half of my. Broldis, enjoy this. Uh, I think I might. You are cure wounds for, I guess, nine healing. Does that seems right. That seems very high. I one d eight plus your charisma. Oh dear. Okay, and I guess I rolled well. Yay! So. I yeah, took. Thank you. I took three damage earlier, right? Yes, from the fire. Okay, yeah. Never mind. I. Uh, I feel bad. I'm at one, I'm at one hit point. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> that may have been important. All right, to know a little all right. <laughs> I am just burning Surprise. through spell slots okay. like crazy. Maybe we uh, should just. Uh, Elevore, I can please rest. please have four hit points. Thanks. Um, you know, you could also spend a hit. Or wh- what do we need to do to spend a hit die? Is that an hour? You would need to take an, a, hour. Yeah, an hour. Oh, I... that may or may not be advisable in our current sitch. Well, we're in a room that has two doors. We could what is down the deal and try. with the uh, the door that we came in through? Because it sure seemed like a secret door mm-hmm. the way we came in. Is that yes. what it yeah. looks like on this side too? Uh, yeah. I mean, you would you you can look at it and basically realize like 
if you were just in this room and the door wasn't open, it would actually be kind of difficult to find. But because it's open, it's obviously there. Uh, it's as you might remember, it like it's sort of one of those doors that like has a, a, a like a, a vertical pole in the middle and it like turns mm-hmm. around that. Um, I so believe they call those like uh, French French spooky doors. That's French spooky call. doors. Ah, uh, yes, the French spooky door and the Finnish uh, stone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. These are. It's an eclectic design to this dungeon. I've seen this place oh. in Dwell, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. So on this side, it would be uh, harder to find, but obviously, um, it's pretty pretty mm-hmm. clear since it's open. So if there's any like blood on the floor out in the hallway, is there any way to like press to digitate that clean and close both of the doors and just hide in here? We'll just Mickey Mouse magic some mops. Like, you know, we can mm, drag the, uh, the orc's well. body back in and uh, no, actually her body's right on, still on the side of the door. So yeah, you, I mean, I'm going to assume you dragged her back. Yeah. Did you drag her in or out when you closed the door? In. I oh, the question. Uh, definitely in. All right. A lot so of you're in a, you're in a room with three corpses. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Corpse management is very important. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Key to a successful campaign. Uh, corpse mm-hmm. resources. You got to really consult with the corpse resources department. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So <laughs> oh, what God. would you like to do? It's I... human resources, but the bad, <laughs> bad part. Well, I mean, if, we, if, if we've already burned through enough healing spells that we're good to go for a while, then we don't necessarily need to try to take a short rest. But... I only have five hit points. I will, I will tell you, great, I've been burning so... spell slots like crazy. Oh, I me could, too. Uh, I, could, I could do another cure wounds on... Uh, uh, Elevor for the if the sake of not taking a long rest, but uh, I would not mind. I won't taking... be doing any more. I'll I'll be down to basically just doing cantrips and stuff. I can do cure wounds. I just I, I don't actually know how many spell slots I have. It's not on my sheet that I see. Uh, it should be on your spell casting section of your sheet. Uh, if you look in each uh cap- section, I think you only spells. have yeah, uh... where it's on spells. I think you have three basically. And okay. minus any that you've used so far. Let's vote. <laughs> twelve. Um, I vote so, twelve. Uh, yeah, twelve. Elavor uh, says, "All right, party, let's vote. We can either carry on or we can do a short rest." Pony, Pony Boy, uh, what do you? What's your vote? Uh, I am concerned about resting anywhere. Uh, I, I fear we might be attacked. All right, that's so one no. One no. Sorry, Broldish. But obviously, I will honor whatever the party decides. I'm feeling fine right now, so I will just abstain. Because I was, I was thinking maybe it would be good to rest, and then suddenly this hole in my chest just closed right up. So Elavor <laughs> begrudgingly makes a third category on his scroll that says abstain. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh man! This uh, is the problem with early democracy. <laughs> is this a ranked vote? Is this a board account? I mean, like, talk to me about your voting. Imra, also. what's your vote? Also don't care like i can use a spell slot to cure wounds or um <laughs> no one rest. wants to vote in this vote this is aggressive because it's like let's do a vote so one person doesn't have to make a decision and then people are like i don't even want to vote <laughs> that's not what I mean. okay uh so that's two and abstain great rolled <laughs> i mean bellaman what's your vote well i would like to do some canvassing first before i uh cast a vote in my opinion we will be attacked if we rest or not. Therefore, this is true. Resting uh, seems like a good idea, even though I am probably okay. All right. Elevor takes his parchment, lifts it in the air, rips it in half, and just shrugs. And I guess Weeps. we'll just keep going. <laughs> because well not done. resting seems uh, to be the democracy. baseline. Okay. No, it's not democracy. It's fantasy democracy. <laughs> Where all your dreams come true. Got a deal for Ooh, you. So a new deal for you. Oh, we're take <laughs> take nine. Oh, thank nine you. HP. Take nine damage. Take nine damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. That's fourteen. I can do fourteen. All right. Well, I'm good. All right. Um, any next moves here before you move on? I want to toss um, the room. Yeah, and see, uh, 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 wow, what am I trying to say? Spurious's mage hand already tossed the bedroll for me, so <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Uh, all right, uh, whoever's searching, give me a, a perception check. I think I'm just going to continue to listen at this door. 
All right. Um, so you guys rifle through the room, and you find uh, a couple leather sacks among the clutter, each one of which contains 160 silver pieces. Wow. So that's about, what, 320, 320 silver pieces? Um, you also, uh, Bruldish, do you, you maybe pat down the, the orc shaman's corpse there? Yep. You find two more flasks of that alchemist fire. Okay. Does anybody look- want these? I don't like throwing stuff. Hmm. So. I have enough ranged stuff, so I'll give it to someone who's primarily melee. Yeah, maybe you want those, uh, okay. I mean, You guys are smarter than I am, so I'm happy to just... Yeah, just don't, yeah. like, drop it at your feet. I would like to uh, look in uh, the I'll smoldering try. fire for fireworms. They're... What are fireworms? Fire, what? Yes! Fire plenty worms. of fireworms! No. <laughs> Excellent! I find a little fireworm and just slurp it up. I'm, mm, I'm, I'm concerned, about, del- I'm concerned about Brian. <laughs> no, no one tell him that he just ate a hot coal. Mmm, <laughs> it's surprisingly ashy. <laughs> no, it's not that hot because uh, his rare frost put out the fire. Oh, that's true. That's true. A, a cooling, lukewarm cooling coal. coal. Um. All right, that is all that you recover from this place. Everybody else, you know, has basically norm some leather armor, some crappy leather armor, and some spears and great axes and stuff, but nothing too exciting. Uh, so, what would you like to do? I I have also been after patting down the uh, the orc, listening at the door. So mm-hmm. I don't know if you want me to make a separate roll for yeah. that, or, um, yeah. I mean, well, we can use that thirteen perception. That's sure. that's fine too. Okay. Uh, you don't hear too much. It's a pretty uh, it's a pretty solid door. Okay. So it's not like you can't hear a lot from the other side, but it doesn't. You don't hear anything like super loud or uh, immediately discernible. Nothing's banging on the other side of the door. Yeah, and it hasn't changed much, basically. Okay. Like in the time that you've been listening there, you haven't heard a marked change in the. Uh, Ooh, okay. Marked. Well, I will. Sound. I will tell everybody. So I heard what sounded like water, and maybe some buzzing. I don't know. Is it's that a, a special rip. kind of water? Water. <laughs> it's it's dwarven. Oh, for, gotcha. <laughs> for, it's, it's dwarven for water that you can't see. Oh, nice. I love it. You know, water, that, water. That, a little like German. There's, there are words for everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is just dwarven intonation. German. Very, uh, very similar. So if we are ready to move along, I will open this door. Or was there another direction that we wanted to go when Elevora was searching around? I'm, oh, yeah. We just had one area that was blocked off. There's an area blocked off, and I think there was a door to the northeast, and then True. a couple pathways to the northwest. Which I, I mean, think... the one ad- the one advantage of heading north from where we are now is that this was kind of a secret passage, right? So yep. people may not expect us um, get around behind. But, yeah. but there may- there are these aforementioned little stingies. Round, round, get around, I get around. I just ignore that. Little stingies? Oh no, not the little stingies. Brildish was just excited um, to kill the person who was screwing with her mind. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I am you, not. You going guys to put just anything point- to a vote. Yeah. <laughs> Brildish just work. says, "I'm point me, point me where you want me to go." I think we should go north again for that element of surprise. Also, because that's where the shaman was headed, and I'm worried that there are. More baddies up there, and they're gonna come around at us if we don't get the jump on them. Here, here. Okay, I will continue to lead, unless somebody has an objection to that. No, nope, I'll be behind you. No. Nope. Okay. All right. I will open the door and right. look through before I step through. <laughs> there, it, it does not seem to have changed um, significantly Stings. from your last look at it. Okay. All right. Then I start moving through. Okay. Just go on along this side. I think we should all go along the same side. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Spurious is following behind Elevore. All right. 
Yep. But just tell me we'll, if I uh, need to stop. And when you get to hear, something happens. I'll just reveal. Yeah, I should probably be a little see part room for you. Oh dear, something happened. Should we? Uh, yeah. So just to clarify some of the stuff, as you uh, walk into this larger room, uh, you now are able to see a little clearer. There are a lot of old skeletons scattered around up in the northern part of the room. Uh, you also get a closer look at the walls as you walk past and notice mm -hmm. that they are indeed carved. There's a lot of images of dwarves mm. at forges. So. What kind of stone? Uh, <laughs> Uh, granite. Ooh. Oh, so not finished. Brildish <laughs> <laughs> caresses the wall every now and then. <laughs> yeah, so there are image. There are clearly very intricately carved. Brildish, you would have no trouble recognizing this as dwarven stonework. Um, mm -hmm. And so dwar images of dwarves at forges and doing typical dwarfy things. <laughs> oh, I look longingly. Mm. Ah, My brethren. the things of dwarves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... We will continue. We do. We do now, also have a light source for. Should we? Uh, should we be being making some stealth checks? Should we? Should we stealth, <laughs> like? Yeah, that would have been That's probably good to think about before you entered this room. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take it you are not being particularly stealthy since you haven't really. You know, I mean, I mean Swerius is, but possibly no one else is. But teacher, didn't we have homework last night? <laughs> So, uh, Broldish, as you get closer to that, the, to this, um, these dots here, this is a wrought iron gate. Uh, okay. That's in the western wall. But as you get a little closer here, uh, the buzzing starts to get louder. That's not mm -hmm. good. That's never a good thing. Uh, and that. you kind of sense that it's coming from down the stairwell. They could be friendly bees. Okay. And that's, they're never friendly bees. <laughs> as <laughs> bees? <laughs> Uh, as you are sort of like casting over there, you're looking over there to be like, what is that buzzing noise? Why is it getting louder? Um, you see emerge from the stairwell uh, a friendly four, bee. Four in things that look like giant insectoid bats. Uh, <gasps> what sound do they make? They go <laughs> <laughs> legally distinct from. Bats, 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 bats. <laughs> Thank you. I will not have to see you. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the Tony soundboard up and running for next session, and uh, we we'll just have you go. Bats, 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 bats. I don't. I don't bees, think I want to play the game bees. with a soundboard of me. Are you sure? <laughs> it's very yeah, fun. Mm. Uh, uh, I, right. I get. An, I get enough of me. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we works. don't. So roll for initiative. Don't forget to click your character. Oh, thank uh, you. Click character roll. Hey, that's me. Okay. Oh, a three. What is this nonsense? Oh, it's I, a got three. A, I got a. I got the nonsense. Epic fail or whatever it's called. What's it called? It's not epic fail. Critical. <laughs> Critical <laughs> failure. It could be an epic. Critical I mean, failure. kind of. Exactly what yeah. you do. Imra yeah, the definition there. Uh, Spurious got a twenty. Okay. Experience getting tween. Yeah. Like, hey, we are friends now. That's canon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, You're canon friends in that you shoot Sirius from a cannon. I just put you. I just helped put you out of fire. You healed me. You did. You. Uh, yeah. You did two mm -hmm. things. You were great. I uh, remembered sorry. one of those things. <laughs> that was out of game, Tony. That was out of game. That was. Oh, I forgot that we're upset. still enemies as, as <laughs> in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. truly, you're my best friend because you're going to let me be a dog someday. That's true. <laughs> that will be very confusing for several months. <laughs> <laughs> or it depends when this episode Refer For at least a dog. year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spurious. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Spurious is down. Uh, can, you, can you mock bees? I'm mocking the bees. <laughs> Your buzzer sucks. The nearest bee must make a, uh, a wisdom save. Um, uh, or take four psychic damage. <laughs> really? Okay. Yep. That's fine. Uh, all right. So you mock that. <laughs> My <laughs> bee. Mock, mock that bee. Uh, it, it gets a six. So do they talk? It goes, and then it takes how much psychic damage? Four. <laughs> it's it it drops dead of <laughs> of being mocked. <laughs> So I just talked a bee to death. Guys. <laughs> Spurious the bee whisperer. The most insecure bee ever. Well, yeah. Just that one bee. Um, I didn't uh, like jazz enough. Uh, uh, I guess Imra. Guys, I kind of feel bad about killing a bee. I don't uh, think that's vegan. Wait, is it canon that <laughs> Spurious is vegan? 
Sparius? No. I don't think so. Uh, Imra? Don't tell Pony. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm trying... Uh, I get, I, mm, I'm worried about sending Androdite in there. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. I'll just um, point out that Tony just talked AB to death with like a few points of damage. Yeah, so keep maybe that in a mind. dog could dog a bee to death is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true. That's true. All right. So I'm going to send Androdite. I don't know what her move is. Uh, it should be in her little character sheet thingy. Didn't see it. Should be up at the top there. Not... Speed is 40. Speed is 40. So, so eight can't squares. you even get there? They're also flying. Keep that in mind. So it's a little, might be a little harder for her to hit because she's got to like mm. get up there. To jump. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move. Um... Be like cast, I'm catching a frisbee out of the air. Yeah. Jump That's forward. how she could do it. Probably just one frisbee. Uh, <laughs> it's oh funny because it has the word bee in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in a very yeah. frizzy bee. Um, all right. I would grade are... that pun a C. <laughs> nice, nice. You know what I? You know what I have to remind you guys so... that the administration would like would like you to be best. Well, you know, Imra just has to decide to be or not to be. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm, le- I'm just going to go and let this be. Oh, God, I'm breaking out in hives from this. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. That was the queen this of the puns. This is not okay. So, uh, oh, honey. Um. It will be. It will be. <laughs> so, Android I can't quite make it there. I'm. So, we're both going to move here. I'm going to use my longbow, and then next time we'll see what Android I can do. You shoot a, a insectoid bee with your longbow, and you deftly nail one right out of the air, because you are an expert archer. Mm-hmm. Um, Bruldish. Um, there are two of these guys left. Can I look around the corner mm-hmm. through the wrought iron gate just to see what's over there in case there are some other threat bearing well, down 80, on us? 80, 85 bees. <sighs> Uh, yeah, sure. In fact, I will just show you that that connects to that okay. area that Elevore saw before. So, all right. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to be a lot of help against these things. Um, I guess I could throw a javelin at a bee. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be impressive. I just like I like how contemptuous everyone is that we're yeah. fighting four bees. No need um, to get waspish. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, there are wasps. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Yeah, I just that yeah. Just this is an orcish suburb. Did we not establish? That? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that one gets all right. A pass. Uh, yeah, sure. I will d- pull a javelin off of my back and just huck it at the middle bee. I hope there. you get it because it's gonna look so cool. Bee sushi. <laughs> we'll see. Not sushi. What am I saying? <laughs> that is the a bob. six. Oh, you rolled no. a one. I, yeah. you, you're a little out of practice with this the javelin. Is, I've never you're thrown at something to your quite great that, axe. that tiny and fuzzy so you, you, before. You, you, I will pick up my up javelin when the battle's over, though. And try to throw it, and it just, like, Clatter. clatters to the stairs and starts rolling down. <laughs> I slump a little bit. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> Bellman. I mutter under my breath, sorry, Halo. <laughs> uh, I scoot scoot over here um, it's okay Brody. <laughs> and I just like blow some cold breath in the direction of the last two buzzy boys um, Team Facone, sure all right they have to make a <laughs> constitution save <laughs> they're bees uh, <laughs> did you just burn a right. spell <laughs> bees that one fails uh, that one <laughs> succeeds <laughs> It takes like half. It takes half damage, but uh, wow. spoiler: these guys do not have a lot of hit points. Oh, nice! So uh, you basically two the last two just sort of freeze in midair and then like fall to the ground and shatter. Uh, wait, 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 wait! Before you do, I would like to make a what would be dec- a dexterity acrobatics to like lunge over and catch one of them. Sure. Yeah. 
Um, uh, I'll do that with. Um, I'm gonna warn you. you uh, jump there are the stairs, stairs going there, so if yeah. you mess this up, that's a nine acrobatics to like. <laughs> Bellaman falls down the stairs. Lunge over and grab one of the bees. Yeah. So he's all right, falling so down the to... stairs into the bee's nest. I, I I want you to picture this. Bellaman like leaps from the edge, right? And he's like doing that dive, you know, like 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 the baby falling down the stairs, and he grabs it. And he, he's got it, and he looks really pleased with himself Yay! for a second. And then he does the, like, wily coyote thing where he looks down and realizes there's nothing underneath yes. him. Yes. Okay, <laughs> though, it's only, like, how many feet's worth it? Like, three, 15 feet of stairs that maybe are, like, five, ten feet down? They'll be fine. You took eight points of damage, and you Whoa! stairs. <laughs> okay. Falling damage is no joke. Why am I uh, laughing? You have then? a... F- but you yeah, have you a frozen, like you, you, you have you a landed frozen like on your ankle. Excellent, I eat it. Yeah, I mean you can easily Don't climb back up. You're not very bees. fall down, but like, yeah. Wait, is there Bellaman. honey? Is there honey down there? Because these are these are actually probably closer to mosquitoes than bees. Yes, they're insectoid looking bats. Is how they describe them. They are sturges. Yeah, they they drink blood. Don't let them attach themselves to you. Bellamin yeah, that... who's sitting next to a bee. Oh well, <laughs> a frozen one. Yeah. Okay, fine. I run back up. Okay. All right. Ow. Well done. You defeated uh, Sturgis and almost took no damage. Uh, except for one of you jumped down a pit. Uh, I fell as you do. Into the pit. I, I just want to uh, see if there's a way to the open this wrought iron gate, just in case we need to do so sure. on the way out. Uh, or something. There is a uh, rusty lock on it, mm-hmm. uh, and you success- suspect you could either have someone try to pick it or break it open. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to see. It's, ah, the old rusty lock. I point it out, but then I say, like, if, if I go a little bit farther to the north, I realize, oh, this must be the tunnel that you said was all blocked off, Elevore. So. Mm, looks like it. So it's double blocked? It seems weird that, is... that they piled a bunch of crap and there's a wrought iron gate. Maybe they couldn't control the bees, so this was just their way of handling it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um. You, as you get a little closer to the uh, the north, though, you also see there is a door up uh, okay. just to the north. And um, Broldish, you can see from here that it's a, a carved and like there's like an image of a, like a glowering dwarf's face on it. Can we uh, oh. evaluate how these? I, I don't. Maybe they're too desiccated to tell, but how these skeletons became skeletons? Yeah, I was gonna say let's let's investigate those bodies next. Yeah. Um, can one of you make me a medicine check? I can try. That's an eight. I'm not so great at medicine. Be- beats my seven. <laughs> I got an uh, 11, which is still not great. Wow. 19. Oh. Huzzah. Be- All right. Bellman, Bellman crawls up the stairs. <laughs> Bellman crawls up the stairs. I know how to I take care of you, you get to the top of the stairs, and you, you're like face to face with one of these skeletons. <laughs> And you, <laughs> most people would be like, ah, skeleton. You're like, oh, interesting. Uh, and this is you how it notice, died. Uh, you notice these are orc skeletons. Um, they seem to have been armed in much the same way as many of the other orcs that you have seen. Um, you're, you notice their remains show what looks like the signs of severe scorching, like they were burned somehow. Um, there are some rusted axe heads next like nearby uh but what you notice is that there are no there are no hafts like no handles attached to any of the axes that's a good band name rusted axe heads hmm. rusted axe heads <laughs> uh convey all that to can everyone. i can i take a closer look at the the axe heads and just see if there's anything i can figure out about like i know weapons did the handles uh were they eaten away by giant bat termites did they just dissolve <laughs> Um, Were they never there in the first place? Opening for the axe heads. The giant bat termites. (laughs) Please don't call those into existence. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hello, Uh (laughs) Kundakar! Um... (laughs) <laughs> they are there is no indication of them being present there's no it's kind of hard to tell uh you do kind of wipe off a little bit of substance on them it might look like ash mm-hmm. uh, okay so it might have just burned up don't so, like, is it. it does it look like i mean is the leather armor still there or is it like everything organic has been burned away um i mean there's some scorched armor on them okay but it's it's not like everything organic it's just like you know severely burned okay. wait so some of it might be gmo <laughs> Sorry. 
That, yeah, that's no. a thinker. That was a thinker. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I had to. I, I got there in the end, but. Mm-hmm. Elevor Monsanto, they call him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Shh, we don't mention that. Yeah, uh. let's not let's not go there. I learned how to make I learned how to make potatoes that are drought intolerant. I mean, they're drought tolerant. Drought intolerant. Why do we need those? <laughs> well, if you if you want to bring down a society, you, a, you make all things. of their all of their vegetables and produce intolerant <laughs> to drought. All right, what's up? What's happening? All right, uh, you guys. We could go think? down into this horrible mosquito cave, or we could head north <laughs> through a civilized door, um, See. or block the or uh, break the lock. Yeah. So a yeah. civilized. Except that door, that would just get us back to. A place where Elevor unless there's something in that little nook over there. By over there, I mean here. There may be something fancy. There could be um, something fancy in the nook, the fancy nook. That's where you keep all your fancy stuff. I am I my more than kingdom. happy to break a lock if you want me to. Let's do it. Sure. Get out my battle axe. Uh, and just... Do I have lock picking tools? Do, do, do. do I care? I'm smashing. <laughs> You're smashing the lock on the gate. I love Never it. Mind. <laughs> Obviously, I should have kept them on my belt and not in my backpack. <laughs> yep, too late. Because this conversation um, so was quick. Sure. Is Make that an attack? A, uh, Is it a strength check? Strength check, please. Okay. All right. Strength players. <laughs> It's a 16. Uh, you line up your axe and you neatly just like smash the lock right off. I, I step aside and sort of Vanna White. I'll go. It's <laughs> appropriate. All right. Well, Elevor, you walk you know, 20 feet down the corridor and you find um, there's basically a whole bunch of tightly packed crates and sacks of flour. Mm-hmm. Ooh, um, let's bake. <laughs> yeah, and you also noticed that there were a bunch of like um blankets and straw pallets on the other side <gasps> of the Beds. of the iron gate. Um oh, here we like go. you got the impression that they were sort of pushed up into it at one point. Interesting. Uh, uh, so perhaps wait, to are block they still from there? Or are they Yeah, they're there. They just they got knocked down. Okay. They well, like they were like a, it was like an ad hoc barricade. I have like Bed flipping proficiency, so I just you, I just quickly throw all of those blankets out of the way to make sure there's nothing. Yeah, they're empty. In, they're just. Okay. I mean, it, you get the impression it's mostly old stuff that was then used as sort of a like a makeshift barricade. Okay, cool. Then I come back and let everybody know there's nothing back here. But thank you for breaking that lock. It was cool. <laughs> um. All right. So the ranger does not want to go further into a cave. I I I I, I vote north. Ah, but see, I feel like the DM, with all of their okay, well, dastardly ways, would want us to go through a civilized door instead of into a scary cave. Just saying, if we if <laughs> oh, we God, leave that damn, at our that back, <laughs> if we leave that at our back, there is the possibility of more of those things following us and taking us from behind while we're also fighting something else. Just is that just a balloon? A, there's a lot of uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I tied into uh, my chair. I, Wait, it's still here. You know. <laughs> I never abstained from a vote, and I want to go down into the cave. Oh. Can we do some canvassing, please? <laughs> Skeleton, what do you think? Okay, so canvassing to me means Skeleton, going around with you? flyers and like trying to convince people of things. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> no, Elevore's got a pro-cave Bellman... agenda. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bellman runs into the other room and grabs a piece of canvas and comes back. I just want to see what... The canvas thing. Oh my goodness! What's the canvas like around here? What's your canvas like? This is very. Imra is about to attack Bellamin. Oh my <laughs> god! It's very early here. How it's tight not. Is it's not very early. <laughs> Hold on. Which stop. wait? What? Which coast are you on? <laughs> I'm on Brian. You coast. <laughs> yeah, Brian operates on uh, Pacific. Yeah, aren't you on East Coast? Reasons. Yeah. You, Brian, it's like one there, is it not? <laughs> Yeah, yes, yes, it is. Lord have mercy. Okay, I'm I'm going to start walking down into the cave. All right, All right. I, I'm, uh, I'm I'm following. I'm, I'm following the following. I'm, All right, wow, I'm okay. grimacing, but I I'm not this splitting seem the party. Like the best idea, but it doesn't seem like the Who's, worst okay, idea. Okay, we All do right. have a light source for the people without dark vision, correct? I hope so. Uh, oh. Is somebody doesn't either casting light or has a torch? 
I, I can. Uh, I have a cantrip for produce flame, and there's a part of it that lets me, I think, hold it in my. Yeah, flickering flame appears in your hand. The flame remains there for the duration and harms neither you nor your equipment. Flame sheds bright light in a ten foot radius and dim light for an additional ten feet. That's actually less than a torch, so oh. maybe isn't it? Isn't a torch that. bright for twenty feet? I'd have to look it up. I can also use it to light a torch. Uh, uh, there you also, go. You sound so sad. Uh, I'm just gonna remind you, uh, Broldish. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm guessing. It, I don't. I don't. I mean, has anyone rolled nature? What the hell do we know about these bee things? Like, do they have a hive? Can we just throw one of those vials of fire at it if we see it? I, uh, I don't know crap about rolls. nature, but I I do, and yet I still got a seven. Oh my god! Look at Bell. I ate one, oh. so I know lots about it. Uh, <laughs> convey whatever Dan you, says just now. You actually ate it. It was frozen. Inherited. It's essence. It was a, yeah. it was a bee pop. I, I, I got the fire worm, and now I want the contrasting bee sickle. Uh, frozen bug. Bee sickle. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Not a bicycle. Uh, weird. <laughs> but look, um, he got a nineteen. That means he knows this so is much a world because of that, eating it. This is a world that we create together, where Brian eats bees. Uh, I will <laughs> tell you that these are called sturges. Uh, oh. They look like a cross between large bats and oversized mosquitoes with legs why, that have why, sharp. Why pinchers. would you cross those? Um, they, sleep, they they feed on blood um, of living creatures, like a mosquito attaching and draining them. They don't tend to be too scary on their own, but they, you know, if they're in packs, that's not great because they will all sort of swarm. And um, if you eat a bunch, they will impact your colon. Yeah. <laughs> um, I call this Sturgis Jim. Have fun with that. <laughs> Reference um, acknowledge. Uh, I there's not much. They don't have any particular. Um, vulnerabilities or immunity like they're they're they don't really their vulnerability is four hit points yeah, yeah they do not have a lot of hit points <laughs> they're born with vulnerability uh, yeah so okay. yes. so i'm gonna keep on walking down this little cave do you want right. me to go first i say I'm uh happy sure yeah, yeah since you were you were not begrudgingly going into the cave you were okay with it so yeah i'll let uh, please do go first Rollish, if you don't mind all right if and you don't mind Axe I out. Hand out. I could have showed you of the, uh, the thing. Hold on. Sorry, I'm still catching up on. Uh, yep. All right. Oh yeah. Here's a. Uh, this is what sturges look like when they attack you. Oh, ah. they're kind of cute. <laughs> no. Hello. <laughs> That's what you just okay, ate. Okay, so I would it like looks to like something out of Star that. Wars. I was yeah. about to do a my, water my impression and decided better. Star. Yeah. Hey. They're probably- <laughs> They're probably oh, Silicon yeah. Based. What's a Jedi? Yeah. Uh, how much were your I would like druid? to retcon that I thought they were like Don't tiny feed them little after regular insect size, which is why I <laughs> popped one into my mouth. I did not eat this thing. Oh, I think they're cute. 